Hello YouTubers, <clears throat> this is Lamin Sane of Elswat once again and I welcome you to the first episode of this JavaScript um, semi-advanced um, tips and t tricks. So basically in this video what we're going to do is we're going to be having a look at variable hoisting, right? So basically variable hoisting is something in JavaScript that um, a lot of people encounter but because of the forgiving nature of the language most people don't even um, encounter the problems that it might cause for you so I just wanted to make sure that you understand what variable hoisting is and the possible um, repercussions that it can cause in your applications especially if it starts getting large okay so basically let's say you have a variable called hello okay in JavaScript so this is just a simple web page it just um, I'm doing some inline JavaScript here and I just have a variable called hello so I'll just go back to the browser um, actually sorry before we go back to the browser let's just log this variable hello so we just expect to see in the console here in Chrome that it logs hello out there so that's that's what we expect and that's what we have okay so let's create a function let's say function my function okay so inside this function we do console.log and we say hello so let's just comment this first log outside the function so we declare the function and then we just call it down after declaring it so what do we expect we expect to see the same as as the output for the first one because we, we just um, logging out this hello variable inside the function. So we refresh the page, we, we don't expect to see a difference. So just to show you that it's this same hello that's been um, uh, logged out, I'll just change it to hello again, and we'll refresh, and you'll see hello again, okay? Now, let me show you something very tricky that most people don't, don't um, seem to realize is happening. Okay, so let's say, um, because most so many people come from programs like Java. So in Java, if you do something like create a variable here and then say hello equals to hello inside function. If you don't come from Java, that's fine. Just try to understand what's happening here. But if you come from Java, you might expect that this hello here will override this hello. So Basically, what we're expecting to happen um, is that the log will just log out this hello, and then when the compiler comes inside here, it will just declare another hello. So we'll just expect to see hello again in the console. But that's not what is going to happen. In fact, we'll see an error, undefined. So when we refresh, instead of seeing hello again being output in the console here, we see undefined and now why why is that happening so basically in javascript when you um inside a function when you declare a variable but you call it before you declare so what we do ha what's happening here is we're saying we declare this hello variable but we're calling it before we declare it so what javascript does is when it for it reads every um code twice so the first time it reads this function internals it just takes this hello and then pushes it up to the top of the function. So anything that uses hello, hello will be pushed up to it. But just be mindful here that what's being pushed up is just the, the definition. Sorry, the declaration of hello, not the definition. So I'll just differentiate what declaration and definition means. So var hello doing this, that's just... Um, that's the declaration so this is a declaration so what a definition is definition is just another way of saying define so this is what we mean by definition so we declare the variable by just creating it but we haven't given it a value but definition is defining its value so declaration definition so I'll just comment that down here I hope my um, computer is not too loud. Fun is screaming like crazy. 
Okay, so we have definition here and we have declaration. So what JavaScript does is, even if you give the function the variable a value, it just pushes the variable up. So what's happening here is that this hello is being pushed to the top like this, var hello, and then it's not being given a value. So when that happens, this value that we've assigned to hello after um, calling it here, it, it throws away the value. So I don't know why it does that, but that's how it works. So the only way to get around this is to make sure that um, instead of declaring and defining hello and giving it a value after calling it, make sure you do it up here. So a good rule of thumb is bef if you know you're going to be using variables throughout a function, make sure you dec define them up before um, declaring before using them so like instead of putting it here let's put it at the top here so now when we refresh now instead of seeing undefined or hello again we will see hello inside function so i refresh and i see hello inside function so that's the, the what variable hoisting is in javascript and um i'm sure like java people right now will be saying hey what's happening you know why is this hap why is this why is this behaving like this but that's just how it is and um, it's just one of the hurdles of JavaScript that we have to live with but once you get to understand that that's what's happening you'll um, probably get used to defining your um, variables at the top of functions and giving them values up there okay so um, I'll cut this short here I know it's getting a bit long guys but um, if you have any questions I'll be setting up the I have a forum actually for this YouTube channel now so any questions that you have just post them there guys we are um, we all we all um, can learn a lot from from doing that and um, it's, Apart from just me answering questions someone else might be able to help you out because you know It's just one person answering that's not very efficient. So anyways, thanks for watching this and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye